and welcome back. Last time we were admiring Egypt's huge empire and Sparta's huge empire. <sighs> and I'm thinking where to expand next. Well, we have here. You know. I mean, like, prevent Sparta getting from full province. You know? I mean, like, it would be irritating having Sparta have a full province to itself. Oh, I may not. Okay, that's. Sorry. Lag spikes. So we want to make this town rebel, basically. Well done. Right. Good work. So we have an Athenian army getting trained on the move. Rome's like, don't even think about it. Looks awfully grand, doesn't he? So, I don't want to go openly to war with them. But, they do have a lot of land. Oh, those guys. Still, we have a quite decent army ourselves. Something that Sparta should be afraid of. Yeah, Sparta's got nothing. Sparta's got nothing on us, so... Oh yeah, sir. Forgot about that. If we disband all those mercenaries, we're gonna make millions. But not yet. So we want to convert Navasos into Athenian control. The only way that's gonna happen is if we convince... <sighs> Macedon bunkering in on Spartan soil, not supporting its army to attack a well guarded settlement, but gets itself killed. Now they're gonna die. That's it. That's it for them. We have uh, Vaso the Seleucids preparing for war on us, by the looks of it. Rather not get dragged into the Grand War down south. I mean, like, Egypt must be just destroying the Seleucids. And the Vendetti are still. Okay, there's a Fudge. Interesting. Oh, our spies. So everyone's going to suffer attrition this turn, sadly enough. Hold on. Black spike. So, hmm. So we need a place to produce more food for us, or somebody to trade for us. Now is there anyone who we aren't trading with? We're not trading with them. Okay, right, we are back. Enter, friend, and speak. We surely have much to discuss. So they're at war with nearly everyone. We're not that far in, not that far in power. So Rome's kindly letting us across their land. Very, very kindly. Thanks, Rome. Oh. So it's going to take us a full turn to navigate around this settlement. Right. Well, they are letting us through their land for free, so... I'm not gonna waste it. I this army, on the other hand... What can we... can we recruit? I think it's a province down here. Yeah. We're gonna need more food. And we can pretty much command this province from here. No, we can't. Right. 
So, I'm gonna keep on decreasing archers because those guys are just amazing. I'm gonna keep on the hoplites, and now we're gonna get a bunch of money and just infest it. I know, infest it in social economic structure. Macedon still launching desperate attacks and winter settling in on the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, us in Scotland, it's, it's just been like that the entire year. Looks like Spar's gonna finally kill him. E no. Macedon still holds barely. We got the Navaso just interrogating the place with a massive army of death. I can see it. See? So, looks like that province is not going to rebel. Vendetti just... Spartan and Macedon have negotiated peace. A few garrison armies. We would happily upgrade to that. You know? But we gotta wait for more food. I, I like the sound of all of them. So, we're gonna start just, you know, calmly refurbishing stuff. Oh my goodness, this place is our military recruitment. Right, so we're not going to raid Roman land, because that's an act of war. But we can, and there's a Roman army. With some city guard. Very nice. Very nice. So, it's spring. Yay. Springtime. We are in Athenian waters, so we're going to be okay. A very depleted navy. And Spartan Macedon of Negoti- Ah, oh, that must be frustration thing for the Spartans. I mean, like, they're like, wait, what? What? We can kill them now. Athena gives wisdom, and Ares gives strength. No. <laughs> they're a client state, Aspara. That is funny. That is absolutely funny. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, right. Probably should have accepted that peace agreement. Oh well, wait for your turns, you know. I mean, like, now we gotta fight Macedon. Which is a bit frustrating. Because because they're an ally of Spara, we're gonna have to fight somebody equally weak. But, you know, this gives us time to test and field new armies and prepare for battle. Like the way the Spartans would have liked it. Have the little states fight amongst one another and they remain strong. So the Vendetti are moving about. Lost more men. So it's obvious and apparent that we're going to have to move out soon and start engaging them. It's more. But you know. I'm going to stay down here. Some more men. Can we finally? No, we cannot force march. So, we accidentally trespass over Syracuse, but they won't mind. They're actually very friendly with us. I am honored to receive you and look forward to your erudite. So, we want to establish a foothold down here. So obviously that Rome's not going to take that, so I'm mean, going to tell you that much. With this many Carthaginian navy? Mm -mm. But we will have to prepare for war. As stuff might happen. Seriously one there, though. Seriously. But we have this place. Which is nice, quiet, and cozy. I mean, like... 
I don't know if Macedon will sit back, gather its strength, and then attack Spara. Or they're going to head straight for us. They will just gather strength, Spara. You know that. And while you're bloody throwing your men away, you're gonna die. So Spyro won't be happy with us for waging war against your little client state. <laughs> Spyro and army is just around it like new. <laughs> no, just, just stop. You want to gather your forces? We're right here. <laughs> so we're going to handle that little Macedonian army heading for Pella. A Libyan army. Libyan navy, actually. What's Libya doing up here? How strange. So, we got about eight minutes. I want to fit in about this episode. Too much peace. Uh, so, it looks like they've lost their settlement. Vendetta, poor guys. So, we lost more men. No. Eh. Doesn't really bother me. So, looks like with no support from the Romans, we're going to engage here. By what? I will see you on the battlefield as we thrash this Carthaginian army. See you then. And welcome to the battlefield. No, not this weather. This weather. So as you can see, we have our lovely big army and our new Macedonian light infantry. Oh god, they have tiny shields. Swords. Yeah, well, they'll do the trick. So we're gonna have our elite hot plates form up ranks. I'm so excited. This is the first time we've ever been field testing this army. You remember these guys, don't you? These guys have tiny shields but big attack. So we're gonna use our pikemen just to clear the way. In the Macedonian infantry, of course, will act sort of like flanking units. I take it. I don't know. So I seriously think we have too much of a big cavalry wing. So four, no, it would be five over here, and we'll put two Macedonian here. And the infantry of the Macians here. Where's the archers? Ah, oh, there they are. Right, so we're gonna run in, straight in, stop them from landing. This, in turn, will force their army to pull back to the harbor. But we're gonna be like, no, you're not gonna pull back. And we'll advance in. Quite similar. So it looks like they're gonna try and form up. I mean, like, their army is not that good because they're only Carthaginians. And I hope we can play another part today of uh, Hannibal. Oh, I love that. I love the expansion. It's just so much fun. Don't have enough time to play them all though, and do all the things I want. But oh well. So as you can see, the Macedonian infantry is fairly faster. Typical Athenian chanting. So yes, they do have Drogo. So I'm gonna line them up. Like a scene in Robin Hood. The English cavalry lining up against the French. Yes, they are unwashed. Indeed. So they're like, come on guys, we can do it. Yeah. There's only a few. Oh my goodness, they're cat. Drogo! <laughs> and they're gone. Just. And they're gone. Full glory. So the Macy and infantrymen coming up to help their cavalry comrades. So the Macy and suffering five men, which is not too bad. And the veteran light infantry running in. This is their first time being tested in battle, so pretty exciting. 
throw their invisible javelins. Yeah, a few. And then we have the Carthaginian reinforcements pouring in. Was our men just tidily walk up the shoreline? And so do the Palatines. So it appears most of the fighting will be. Oh, I thought that was the timer there. It appears most of the fighting will be conducted down here with the Macians. So that means we're going to have to run the hell down and help him out. The more experienced part of the army, the pha Phalanx, have finally decided, you know, let's go and help the Macians. So we'll put them on either end, stop the Macian light infantry from getting flanked. Um, the Macian cav on this, on this side can go down, help out. So, looks like they've left a nice lot of Carthaginians. So, they're engaged. So, we got... So, we got to go in. Sadly enough, this unit did not get their pikes down in time, and now we'll be engaging in a rather uneven combat. The general is going to be forming up. Hemar playing to Al Balhama. Alhama. Can't remember. Pikemen just poking. Just generally poking. General's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like gold. So, you know, General could, I don't know, help. So we're going to send a cavalry in from the rear. Very nice place. Can't wait to have it, by the way. So, he's like, I'm going to hold you back against some of the best top, against the best field army in Athens we have to date. Wow, the commanders are just getting stuck in. Look at him go. Oh, wait, that's the Carthaginian. Wow, he's not going down. Ooh. Whoa. Combat's pretty furious. Wow, this guy is getting attacked by three people? No, just two. He's holding his rank. I mean, like, his men aren't, but well, his men are. Meanwhile, back on the main fight here, pikemen have, uh, sided. You know, so the, the Macian infantry is holding up pretty nicely, better than I at first imagined them to be. And the pikemen are doing their job. But I mean, like, the Carthaginian commander is just... Look, here's one of our men now just getting engaged by two, and one of his comrades is like, no. And they go through people. Come on, fight back. the guy already. Hmm. So equipment on this side. Oh. I, I completely forgot we had these guys. <laughs> so the pikes. Just poke them. Very nice. So I'm very surprised at these guys. They are pretty decent. Oh my goodness, what the hell are the pikes doing? Pikeman. No pikes. Mason and Cav. Getting held up by some Libyan hoplites. Oh, I think I'm mad. Oh, lost two men there. So, oh, that's how they're holding. Attacked us from the rear. So they did. So we have two units concentrate on that. On Harmon, Zot. Jeffers, I mean, Zot dead yet. It must be older. No, it looks like it was pushed back out of the center. As men are trying to hold us up. That's the timer for this episode, but as usual, I will ignore it. 
So the archer's just belling, belting in. Some support and fire. These guys getting wounded, tired, Pretty badly. So we're gonna run into me. We see a light cav. Green Drogo. They even have rapid advance. That's ridiculous. For Canada. And they just butchered. So these guys ignoring orders now by the comrades. Well, they're quite content getting one guy. But Athens did prefer to fight without the sailors. This guy's like, I'm gonna stop you. Nope. Yeah, it's pretty boring on that side, but this side, it's fun. I like it. So the Macians are finally suffering some casualties over there. So one other group though. Oh, Carthaginian hoplites. So, looks like the Masons in the center are about to give in. So we're gonna let them leave. Put them. Pretty furious, there's one of the Carthaginian commanders. Down. Just down. So we got some Libyan hoplites up here holding. I mean, like, this guy's surrounded by some of the best Athenians. So Cavalry's not really good without the punch. Could just end this battle. Just ignore the Libyan hop like, hey, where are you going? Go to things that I have already made that joke. The commanders are like, follow me. Nope, me. Me. So then it's gonna be like this units. So we're gonna scream Drogo. Coming again. Pop the pipe out. Yeah. Beleaguered. We're out, basically. Hi, Paul. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we still got those Carthaginians. You guys seriously can't handle it. So I'm gonna send my general in just to help. The fresh elite hot lights, they're not gonna stand a chance. It's an amazing infantry. Pretty damn fine. So it looks like we're gonna need him down here. Last the Carthaginians, just in retreat. All types of units muddled up in this one. Rainbow Brigade leading the attack. These bloody hoplites have just held out. You know what, pikemen pull back. You've done your job. Just pull back and let the true men of Athens handle. Ah, 
how <laughs> these guys will last against these. Our general is under attack. I had to stop shouting because somebody next door was getting angry and I could hear. Look, see, these guys. Oh. Very work for me. So just more and more Athenians pulling again. These guys just don't stop. like we finally won a decisive victory we outnumbered them barely suffered a good few losses but we'll be able to retrain re-equip here and possibly move on to the city of Carthage itself ah, beautiful beautiful absolutely beautiful <laughs> still we have to worry about some things I know for a fact that Carthage gets a good amount of mercenaries Amount. So, and plus we got all those navies that I completely forgot about. I I like the idea. Hmm. Okay, oh. Wow. Kinda of feel bad for Sicily. I am eager to hear your embassy. Inspired as it Wow. We have a lot of new neighbors to greet. Um over here. Pretty much okay. I want to get rid of these two. Carl. So it's more organized. So I will see you next time. As we plan to handle Macedon. Because Spar is too lazy to do it. See you then.